Well, good evening and welcome back in. Beautiful night for us here once again. A live view of Somerset this evening as the sun goes down. Trees started to change colors. The skies were clear. We had plenty of cool, comfortable weather for us today. But once again, the roller coaster continues into tomorrow. Some of us in southern parts of the state there right now in the mid to upper 60s still did break into the 70s earlier today. We were upper 60s here in the Lexington area still dealing with those 60s now. But of course, temperatures will start to drop as we head into the overnight with the sun setting. Temperature change from now at this point 24 hours ago still a good 5 to 10 degrees at our high temperature peak today. It was a good 10 to 15 degrees in some spots. Overnight tonight we're going to be dropping back down into those mid to upper 40s and then we're going to take a shot at 80 tomorrow afternoon. Thanks to some warmer air coming up out of the south. A warm front with that. We're going to be seeing another warm one in store for the day tomorrow. Then as we roll into the weekend though another cold front comes in and it's going to flip this around. Okay highs in the upper 60s today going towards 80 tomorrow a more tropical theme anyway not humid but it will be warmer winds will be breezy too out of the southwest for a good part of the day gusts up to 20 miles an hour until that cold front comes in and flips them to the northwest into early Saturday that's going to knock us back into the fall like feel much like what we had today and maybe even a little bit cooler here's what we're looking at high pressure moving to the northeast here's the low that we've got to keep an eye on you can see all the flow coming up on the warm side of this that will eventually impact our temps overnight tonight into tomorrow as it moves in though the cold front front associated with it is what's going to drive our chance for some showers. Take a look at that. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy for a good chunk of the day, but it's really overnight Friday into Saturday that we have the best opportunity to see some scattered activity here and some isolated instances. There might even be a little bit of thunder to roll through. That'll be something fun as that front comes in. As we go throughout the day on Saturday, general clearing will take place, but we'll be moving into a quieter, cooler weekend. Days since we've had measurable rainfall, it's been nine days, October 15th. We had almost two tenths of an inch. We've only had three days this month with rain and we're a good two and a half inches and then some from the average for the month of October. As far as your rainfall forecast goes for this cold front coming in Friday night into Saturday, none for some and up to maybe a tenth of an inch for others. Not expecting a lot out of this. And again, not everybody's going to be in on the rain. Plus, once that front comes through, the colder air takes over. Here's the front coming in tonight. That's going to be warmer tomorrow. But once that cold front passes by, we're looking at temps struggling to hit the mid 60s into the weekend. If you were worried about that sticking around, don't because Mother Nature likes to keep the game going. Warmer air comes back for us as we start to roll into the middle parts of next week. And we're talking about a steady climb into the mid to upper 70s again. With no rain chances in the mix, we might just flirt with 80 a couple more times next week. That's it for weather. Stick around for some sports.